Most people that want to become programmers fail in the first month and those who kind of make it after the first month are stuck in something called tutorial hell for many, many, many months. And the reason why they fail is because they are making three or four major mistakes and in my opinion the third one is the most important one and in this video I want to show you how to overcome all these problems and so you won't be setting yourself back for years and you'll also be able to get that first developer job faster than anyone else just because you know what to avoid because if you know what to avoid if you know where you don't have to go to reach your destination you'll get there faster by you know elimination by the process of elimination okay so let's get into it just the other day I was watching an interview with a big big youtuber probably you heard of him his name is Jake Tran and he's I think he has like 2 million subscribers and he said that he um, had two YouTube channels for the past four years and one of the biggest lies that he heard was consistency so probably you've heard this before probably I said this as well probably this is like a common myth a common quote maybe even a meme nowadays like being consistent means that you will become successful right you heard this before but he said that the reason why he became successful was not because he was consistent was because he was different okay so he talked about creating this uh, blue ocean strategy where he fi figured out where he could create a niche you know youtube channel for himself so he can be different than ev everyone else but when it comes to actually becoming a programmer Consistency is good, like it's essential, but you need to consistently get better at the right things. Otherwise you will consistently spend a lot of time and energy and effort and money on the wrong things, which will not make you a developer. They will just make you an aspiring developer. They will keep you there. And this is not uncommon. You know, I had people that reached out to me that have been learning code for the past eight years. And at this point, you know, you would, <laughs> I would rather ask them like, hey, I think bro for you, you either have to quit programming or if you've been doing this for so many years, you're better off just going to university and getting a degree. In my opinion, if you are spending more than one year trying to get that first developer job, you are doing it wrong, okay? And this comes from a guy that has or used to have an unlimited program. I used to take people in and then people would be able to stay for as long as they wanted. They were able to take their time and make that transition as fast as possible but now i realize like hey i'm just self-sabotaging myself i have all these people that have no urgency now i made my program nine months so then okay you know that you need to get this thing done in nine months or less otherwise you're just wasting your time so i would say for you like set a goal for yourself yes to be consistent create that schedule create that calendar create that perfect day where you can actually you know dedicate a lot of time towards the you know learning the skill that will get you that developer job eventually but also try to understand like what is the right path that you need to take to get there otherwise you're just gonna waste your time imagine like trying to go from london to paris without a map like good luck or from paris to moscow without a map it's 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 not impossible but like you need to figure out you know where the sun is and then figure out the northwest all the coordinates so you can actually get there Without a map, and this is the next thing, which is why most people fail, is they don't have a reference point to like where they need to get and they don't understand where they currently are, right? So if I know, okay, I need to go to Paris, the first thing that I need to figure out is where am I on the globe? Because if I'm in Australia, I have to take a different route than someone that is in Berlin, right? If you're American and if you don't know where those countries are, that's fine, I understand. The point still stands you need to figure out the roadmap the map and it's not just about the skills that you need to learn because those are simple html css javascript react maybe some next some backend technology and whatnot like i can feed them on my fingers right but you need to get skills right in terms of like how to think you need to have certain milestones that you know okay if i can do these things then I actually learn this part of JavaScript. If I can do this thing, that means I understand Flexbox, for example. If I know this thing, that means I understand how to use position absolute, for example. Whatever the case might be, whatever the case for the specific skill that you want to learn, there are certain milestones 
standards that you need to hit in order to say that, okay, I know this thing, okay? And it's not about like showing like progress bars on your resume, you know, like HTML, 70%, CSS, 30%, JavaScript, 90%, like who measures that? How did you figure that out? A bunch of juniors are doing that. And by the way, if you do that, you are automatically uh, assigned a junior label and nobody will want you, okay? The third thing is to learn from the mistakes of others, okay? This is a quote by an old lady, I forgot her name, and she says, literally, I'm looking at the quote, I didn't write her name, learn from the mistakes of others, you can't live long enough to make them all yourself. And this reminds me of a story from uh, one of my chemistry teachers from early high school. She says something like this, there are three types of people, right? There are the smart people, okay? These smart people learn from their mistakes and from everyone else's mistakes, okay? Those are the smart people. Very few people, very few people are smart. Then you have stupid people who are only learning from their mistakes, but they are ignoring everyone else's mistakes, okay? And then you have the idiots who don't learn from their mistakes and who are not learning from anyone else's mistakes. So now you might be thinking, oh, I'm super smart. Really? I would say you are either idiot or stupid. I don't want to insult you, but honestly, myself, I'm in between idiot and stupid, okay? Because I make the same mistake sometimes twice, three times until I learn it, until I get the lesson that I have to get. But then sometimes I make the mistake that everyone else is making, so then I'm an idiot, okay? And you, with programming, like, you are making so many mistakes every single day that you are not even aware of. You are getting so many bad habits because you are not having your code checked by anyone that who knows how long it's gonna take you till you learn programming the right way because you've been learning it the wrong way all this time, okay? So figure out a way. There are different services online that you can get where you can actually speak with a tutor, someone that can teach you, you know, the ropes, what you actually need to learn, you know, how to learn it, if you learned it the right way, if you learned enough from a specific subject. Otherwise, you are just gonna wing it and the last thing that you wanna do with your career is to just wing it, in my opinion, okay? If I would make a big transition, okay, from, let's say, from teaching programming, if I wanna switch to selling software, that's a big, big shift. Maybe there are some correlations, okay, between the industries, but I would still look for someone in the selling software niche that could show me the ropes, give me an idea, give me some feedback on what I'm actually saying when I try to sell software so I can level up real quick, okay? So this is my approach because I wanna save my time because I know I cannot get my time back. I cannot do anything to get my time back. I spent already like eight minutes, 40, eight minutes and 40 seconds recording this video. This time is gone, right? If you've been watching this video, this time that you, you spent watching this video is gone. This hour that you spent on, uh, on Udemy learning new stuff is gone. Instead of actually applying that information and creating a website, creating an application, trying to break something down, trying to understand like how a concept actually works, Instead of doing that, you spent it watching videos, watching some other guy building websites. Like, if you keep doing this, you'll not get anything out of programming. You're just gonna waste your time. Like, if you wanna play piano, the best way to learn how to play piano is to buy a goddamn keyboard and start pressing the keys so you actually learn how to create the connection between your brain and your fingers that are pressing the key and then the... the the brain is gonna understand how hard and how fast should you press the key to get a specific sound. That's the best way to learn how to play piano, not by reading a book or by watching videos. Yeah, that could help you later, or I guess watching a video and whatnot, I don't know if I said that. But like, if you really wanna learn how to play piano, you need to press the goddamn buttons. You need to make a beat in Fruity Loops or in Logic or whatever. I know because when I started making music, boom, straight away, I started making uh, beats right? And I've learned a bunch of things real quick. I didn't know everything. I didn't know music theory. I just started making it. With programming, on the other hand, the barrier of entry for most people is like very long. It's easy to watch videos and be stuck in that feeling of like, let's just watch more videos. Let's just get more knowledge. But that's fake. That's gonna fake you. That's gonna uh, like scam you 
right? You, you try to get as much info as possible to get something done, but the problem is that you have the wrong resources, which will make you just waste time. So in my opinion, you need to take action right away. And that's the next thing, the next point, take action right away. Don't delay uh, taking action because you don't have enough knowledge. Programming, it's not like, you know, a, a field like, I don't know, medicine, where you need to study hundreds of books before you get to cut someone open. It's not like that. It's not like that. Programming is more like seeing some sort of lizard on in the grass, you grab it and you smack its tail and you look at the tail, right? That's kind of how programming is. You need to take action as fast as possible. Don't let your brain fool you uh, and making you think that you need to learn more before you can get something done, you know? Don't do that. This is like the biggest trap that you can fall into if you are a noob, okay? And I assume you're a noob before watching this video. Another thing that I wanna tell you here is that it's your responsibility, okay? It's your responsibility and it's your problem that programming is hard and it's your responsibility and you need to figure it out. If you set yourself on this path, if you set your mind that you want to get this thing done, you need to figure out every single way and every single scenario, every single option, and you, and you need to exhaust it, okay? Because you know what's on the other side, okay? You know it, you've made your list, your checklist. I want a six figures career, I want to work remotely, I want to have this, I want to have this, I want to have this. That checklist is gonna be accomplished by you if and only if you actually start taking action on the right things, being consistent and consistently doing the right things. And if you have a roadmap and if you, if you put all your uh, mental effort into this thing, all your energy should be spent doing this thing. Okay, so that's kind of the video for today. I hope you like it. I have a new lens. Let me know what you think. Um, it's a bit too focused thing um, and I'm still trying to figure out if uh, if I like it or not. So let me know in the comments. If you want to fast track your career, apply for mentorship. The link is in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.